Well, I'll tell you about, about uh, Marvel Universe first. Uh, I've been watching a bunch of terrific actors have a really good time, and I thought, I might want a piece of that. And it came along, and I was delighted to be involved. I'm happy with the movie we made. It's really, uh, it's a Marvel movie, but there's a strong uh, emotional context. Uh, and it's, uh, a lot of that is uh, invested in the character that I play. So it was a delight to work with these guys. I had the best time ever. I'm really looking forward to it. Thanks. No, it's amazing. It's, um, it's been a long, interesting road and process, you know, being a part of this universe for 11 years now. Um, but it's, um, it's, I feel like it hasn't missed a beat. You know, you get back and it's like summer camp. You see the same people and we're all friends and some of us are, you know, divorced, some of us are married, some of us have kids, some of kids left. So it's just like, it's great because you just get to see your old friends. Very, very excited. We have an amazing cast and that's what, um, when we first started talking about this movie, one thing uh, Kevin and uh, Nate Moore said that they, um, that they wanted to focus on and Kiana was a very uh, big part of just getting the best people in the roles and I, you know I'm just excited for everybody to see like what they what they bring to the screen you know Harrison Ford's Harrison Ford we know you know Tim Blake Nelson is Tim Blake Nelson you know Giancarlo that's you know uh, you know those are heavy hitters you know, but when you look at the newer, younger people, you know, when you look at Danny, like I remember being in that role and being in that position when Chris Evans was cap. So it's um, it's just exciting for people to see him and see what he brings to that character. Comic-Con, Comic-Con is a, a whole nother level of excitement. I've never, every time, I've been here four times now and every time I come, I've never experienced a level of excitement like I have the last time I was at Comic-Con. This one trumped the last time. So it's, uh, it's always fun. It's, um, it's, it's one of those things where you can be yourself and laugh and joke and people appreciate it. I'm blown away each time I come here uh, because of the energetic nature uh, and the great expectation, wonder and joy that the fans exude. I have to say, for me, this has been this is a, a dream come true. You know, it's all all my childlike wonder comes out to be a part of the MCU and to be in it in a way where I can have fun and, and be the badass that I am uh, in, in in a very fresh and new character. To me, it's an amazing feeling. The challenges of this character involve everything from three and a half hours in the makeup chair every morning, sometimes showing up at 4 a.m. Uh, and not leaving until uh, well into the night uh, to some, some really compellingly interesting dialogue uh, to justifying uh, a villain because when you play a villain you want to take his side uh, and so these were all great challenges and I love doing it and, and to get to be here now uh, and start to share that with uh, an audience is a huge reward. It's, um, well, first, it was the first time that I was able to see that footage myself. And so in some ways I was like, let me see what I've done. Like, let me see what I'm a part of. Let me see what the, the family's thrown down on screen. And so me being a fan of what we did, I was really excited in that way. But walking through the halls and like, even like walking from the hotel to like CVS, I'm like put on the hat and I'm just looking at all the energy and it's a good reminder of like the beauty of filmmaking outside of like the, 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 the final piece because you get to see like whose back carries it, you know, and you realize like it's for the fans and it's always been for the fans. They're awesome. It's a it's an instant reminder of like why we do what we do. And it's um, you see the joy in people's faces when the slightest little nugget of information is dropped and you're like, oh, this is why all these conversations when we're really grinding out story, why it matters. Like when people heard Adamantium in there and it exploded, I was like, this is it. Yeah. It's incredible to be able to share any of this with the world. Um, there is something I'm still kind of marveling at around a project of this size having the kind of intimacy of this cast and 
which makes sense. It's a family, um, uh, one of the original Marvel families, and um, and so the 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 to be able to kind of like nest in that through this experience, and then bring everyone else into it, um, and 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 share something that truly is feels special. I think. I think I, I feel that there's a lot of anticip anticipation around it because it's taken a long time for Marvel to get back the original material and the fact that it was began and I remember when I first started researching Sue and I knew a lot about her but to go into the comics and to read her story and the fact that she passed through and all the characters passed through so many different artists that's what I loved and also the other thing I absolutely love is that this was like one of the main forms of entertainment in the 60s, you know? That, that's how like popular, in terms of popular culture, we have so much now, but the fact that these guys originated in a time when just the idea of like waiting for the comic to come out and wonder what story was gonna be next, and then to read our script and to see all the different um, components of those, of, the, of those narratives throughout the decades is so cool to, to kind of inhabit and go, okay, so we're telling our version of of this amazing, you know, legacy of material with the, that have lived with so many people for so long. It was crazy. That was, this is my first Comic Con, and I'm like, it really it it hits different when you see the crowd and how excited they get, and yeah. um, it really makes me so excited for this movie to come out. Yeah. I feel the same. I've never been to Comic-Con before, and to be honest with you, I was a bit stunned when we walked out there. I didn't quite know what to do with myself, <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm happy that there's this much enthusiasm. God knows we need joy and enthusiasm, yep. so I'm down for it. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I, I felt walking out there a similar state of, you know, um, yeah, paralysis. Um, <laughs> but I, I definitely felt like I, I was rewarded in my mind because I know that we all put every ounce of ourselves into this thing while we were shooting it. And so, and I, and so once I saw the enthusiasm and saw how much it meant, I was like, okay, we did everything that we ever could. And I, and I felt really good about that. We did our job. We did our dang job. Yes, we yeah. did. Well, part of the fun is that you're never allowed to talk about anything. But the entire two years that you plan doing this movie, and then this is the first time that you're allowed to actually A, show what you've done, and slightly talk about at least some of the people that you've been working with. Um, so that is the fun, is you actually get to let go, and you actually get to be proud and be impressed by the work that you've done. And um, it feels really good being here, especially with this cast. It's a very, very special cast. I mean, in all in, in all seriousness, this is this is who we make the movies for. We make the movies for people that have grown up with these characters, read these characters, followed these characters, and um, just being in that room with that energy and having that love being screamed at you is um, it's enough to make you want to do as many as you're allowed to do. <laughs> Honestly, being here and just seeing all the fans in the room it's just a sea of just incredible energy and heads of just oh i love it that's exactly why i do what i do and this is why we make movies and this is and it's just the love and the and the passion and just uh, just the energy in the room it was just it really did just stay with me and i just feel so you can see i'm beaming <laughs> i'm still buzzing <laughs> Jake is an incredible director and honestly the cast it just I just had the best time and the character development and the story arc it's just been so special to come back into the MCU in this in this one you know I feel so lucky I'm pinching myself and it was just such a journey and just yeah having the support from all the fans today and seeing everyone just just being our support system is just incredible. It's just amazing. It was fun. It was fun. You get to see people see it for the first time. And I said before that it was one of the better experiences I've had. And getting people in that kind of a way to see it all together, I don't know. It's pretty exciting. It's cool. It's a wild experience. I mean, there's it's so many people, and, and everyone's so excited. There's a whole energy. But I think everyone lit up pretty well when you watched. I felt like. I feel like that was a good moment for us, I thought. The great thing about this team and this movie and the whole thing is it's a little bit wacky, 
And I think we were all game to go to these fun, weird places. And I think that our panel wanted to show a little bit of that. I think you see in the trailer too, it's like a real nice chemistry between this team. I really love these guys and gals. And uh, so we just wanted to have some fun. Well, I mean, the energy in the room at Hall H is unbelievable. You know, hearing uh, just that excitement, that, that level of investment and excitement, which I have as a fan too. And so you just, it's really just unbelievable. You have to pinch yourself. So retro future 60s, so it's uh, similar to the 60s that you know, but then going to be different too. And so we've drawn on a lot of futurism from the 60s and merged it together with an actual period piece. It's really exciting. I love the investment. Um, I, uh, I'm grateful for it, you know. Um, it's really wonderful to make something and know that it's going to be a bunch of people out there waiting for it and excited to see it. Um, and that's, you know, as a creative person, that you can't beat that. I mean, it's always, you know, like editing rooms are such a kind of quiet, uh, dark experience. And we're editing right now. We're editing yesterday till late at night. And so it's nice to come down here and really just it reminds you of like who it's for and what you're doing all the work for and how much it matters to people. And, you know, you only hope that it really mattered to us, you know, uh, in making it. And you hope that comes through for the people that care so much. It's a little early clip. You know, we only wrapped four weeks ago, but, um, you know, the trailer guys put together like an incredible piece that really like understands like what the movie is about, which is a character, Yelena, who's right over here next to me, like really going through something uh, that isn't, you know, maybe normally what you'd expect in a superhero movie, um, but that there's real character underneath that. And I think like that paired with a lot of extremely practical action, Kevin said, go do it real, go out there. We were in Utah, we were in Malaysia. Uh, there was a lot of that in the piece, you know, the, that they put together, and it was just very fun to kind of... There's a lot more to come that we couldn't put in it that we haven't even done effects for yet, but it was fun to show an early look at it.